Hey guys, the name is Jasper, and we're going to react to a different content ngayon. Instead of Maria Clara Tibada, we are going to react to Marvel Studios, Ant-Man, and the Wasp, Quantumania. I'm a huge MCU fan. I've seen the first MCU movie, which is Iron Man, back in 2008, I guess. And now we're here after Endgame, after the Marvel Disney shows. We now have Ant Man and the Wasp 3. So basically, we're just going to watch this. We are going to react to it, um, share my thoughts about it. And after that, you guys can watch the next video I'm uploading, which is my episode 16 reaction to Maria Clara Atibara. But for now, for now, it's all about Marvel Studios. I can't wait. I got a lot of theories about this. And oh boy, I want, I'm super excited to see Kang the Conqueror. Okay, so let's just watch this one. <laughs> I'm super excited. I was trying to hold this trailer off um, since for, uh, for almost five hours now because I, I was in school. I got a lot of chores to do. But now we're here. And I'm going to watch it with you guys in three, two, one. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're an ex-con. Hey. Okay. Hey, <laughs> big human. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Hey, you Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, right, so that's her. That's his daughter. Oh. Oh shit. Okay. There's going to be a ton of time traveling here. Wow. Oh my god, the song. Elton John, let's go. Yellow Brick Road. Oh my god, that's Kang! This place. It isn't what you think. Oh my god, he, he got the costume. I know that guy. Oh my god. They changed the logo? February 17th. Oh my god, that's it. No post credit scene for a trailer. Wow, that oh that was an amazing trailer. And it's also what? Is it a teaser? No? So it's just the full trailer then. Wow, what can I say about this one? Okay, I was I was expecting something bigger, to be honest. I was uh, I was expecting something like a lot more of the time traveling stuff, but as it turns out, Quantum Mania is basically like um Scott Lang and the family just traveling to a different universe within the quantum realm. Which is probably Quantum Mania. And uh, my theory is before was that we're going to get a ton of Kang, um, Kang the Conqueror versions 
from different multiverses, from different universes, stuff like that. But I'm, I think what I'm seeing right here, we are only getting one Kang the Conqueror, one version of Kang the Conqueror. Um, let's try to make this thing. Ooh, uh, let's see. Yeah, and oh my God, he got the he, he got the the full costume here. Wow, the the blue skin, the green thing, whatever he is wearing. I feel like we're getting the full version of of Kang the Conqueror here. Now, to be honest, I haven't read anything about Kang uh, about Kang the Conqueror, so I don't know what to expect about him, but. But I do know that he is going to be this um uh, this face's main baddie. So I wonder how they are going to approach Kang um Kang right here because we saw one version of Kang, which is the less evilest version in the Loki series. And now we have this other version of Kang in Quantumania, which I think is one of uh which is one of the bad Kang uh, versions and also we are also going, going to get an Avengers film one of two the first one is Avengers um, the Kang Dynasty so I think that's where we are going to get the hundreds of versions of Kang from the comics this movie like here feels like a test bed and then I'm assuming Avengers Four, I said four. Avengers Kang Dynasty will be like Kang the Conqueror's full might. <clears throat> I'm really curious to see how this version of Kang is going to be very different character wise and dialogue wise compared to the one um in the Loki series. So that's something. And wow, this is basically the universe within the the quantum realm or something and i'm assuming um the wasp mother who was in this universe um in the past who got stuck here for like several decades i think she knows a lot about this universe right here but yeah as the trailer implied she has a ton of secrets that she is hiding but what else? What else can I talk about here? Ooh, this is something different. I'm assuming this is Kang's army. But everything looks so futuristic. How can a world as small as that can exist in this tiny thing? I don't know. I don't know how multiverses work. Um, the MCU already showed us several ways to enter the multiverse. Or jump to different timelines via the time machine machine from Avengers um, Endgame. We also have this machine right here. And, you know, we have America Chavez from Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Her power is basically jumping through different universes. But, yeah, um, I that, that's all that I can say about this one right here. Looking forward to it. Uh, what do you guys think about this trailer right here? Did uh, did it um, pump your excitement um, about this movie? And guys, this is coming in under five months, right? November, December, January. Yeah, under five months, and we will be able to watch this one. Hopefully, it won't get delayed like the other Marvel movies because of the Blade movie. But yeah, that's my reaction to it. That's my first time seeing it, and I'm going to watch it again after this video. And stick around for Malaklala Tibara, episode 16, reaction. Alright, see you guys around. Goodbye and take care.